What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dinner Wall. Let's play as the United States of America. And in this episode uh, we have kicked off our invasion of uh, Quebec and we are engaging their first main army in the field under Hillier Brousseau. But I think they're going to go under pretty rapidly. They've got a large infantry force uh, but uh, that means our artillery will do some really good work against them. So let's get cracking. So we've got to, we're still balancing our economy with our military production. We end up, we want to make sure that we, uh, that we don't forget about the Huron to the west, but that's why we're sending a separate army that way to go deal with them. So this army, this army involved in this action is going to keep on engaging the, uh, the Quebec forces and push them back to Montreal as we stand up more forces in, in and around Boston to uh, secure Maine and all the land south of the Niagara River. So, so, so. How oh, it's the foot artillery. I mean, you got a very good view from back here. And to be honest, the horse artillery is going to do the same thing. Could try and create a formation. Or try and defend the factory in the center, maybe? I could try and do that. It would very much be necessary to keep... Well, first of all, I think I can get both of my units of skirmishers in here. I am going to want to keep my native foot auxiliary nearby. So they are going to want to charge into that building. Spread my cavalry out. How it says engage their artillery. Wait, is that all of their units? Well, let's find out. It looks like a lot of them. Probably one of their gun teams. I think they might be, they might, might be trying to charge my general because my native order auxiliary is actually hidden. See, they suddenly changed their mind. Let's try and push my line up. Excellent. Ah, oh, the, th the third foot guards. So let's push two units up. One unit to fix, another unit to flank. Provincial cab flank around. Enemy lines being engaged. Let's switch to carcass shot and provide a bit more close support with my howitzers. I mean, they've got more infantry somewhere. So they're shaken. Let's give them a charge. We're on the flank anyway. Charge these guys in, push my troops around, push those troops around the flank. Push, push. Okay, the artillery's doing good work. Lots of troops are breaking and running. This provincial cavalry's job is to shatter, then run up here, 
shatter, get my general commit. There's my light curve, there we are. Go for the general. Oh, it's his, all my artillery just keep engaging the other units. Push. Push. There we go. There's more of their men coming out of the. Oh, there they are. Three pound of horse artillery start to hit. The 11th regiment. They're in a bit of a tricky spot. So let's make our bring our marines back. We're willing to waste our light cavalry to try and kill their general. Excellent. Line in light infantry can come out and join the line as well. Push it up. Okay, the core of my artillery. Oh, you don't want to kill the general. You just made him run away. Hidden over here. There you go, the artillery's given up the ghost. They've broken, but they shouldn't really have broken. Okay, let's advance towards unit, the hidden units. Alex is engaged the 15th and the 3rd Regiment of Militia. Good hits. Now we're just taking your time to dismount. There is an almighty Q. They were stuck. Now they're carrying on. Orientate you guys against the muskets. Outwards and fire coming in. Good hit. Good hits. Engage the Coeur de Bois. All my boot artillery. Now they can't pound that square. Make sure the horse artillery is engaging with the 5th regiment here. Yes, you made a grave error. 
grave error in supporting the Quebecian sway. Okay, let's regroup these formations actually, because they're starting to get a bit strung out. Light infantry up. See, everybody is out of. That's a house. A block of apartments, maybe, but holy hell. Get the long rifle and have quite exceptional range, so their volley will be quite deadly. Yeah, they didn't like that one bit. The light infantry will also be able to engage. There we go. They've overshot. Looking at advancing our line. going to pursue everybody. There we go. Now they're running. Although we should probably try and chase everybody. Let's see if I can get my general into the mix. actually kill an infantry mercenary in it, which isn't too shabby. Stop the artillery from doing things. Now they escape all up to this unit trying to engage their mercenaries, but they're not going to get it. But still, that was a good win for us. Right, right, right. So, 331 lost. They've lost nearly, effectively, two-thirds of their force. Back they go. So, forward, march! Two men replenished. Hey, Anthony Wayne, Italian push up. Ready. You're going to be ready to try and push against Fort, Fort Salsa Marie. Then we have this force here, which is soon to be ready. I mean, fundamentally, these guys aren't really doing, an, aren't conducting an offensive role. They're want, they're waiting to see where this guy goes. All the while, maintaining some sort of mass to the rear. Fifth rate agile. Which I can send my. Let's go get that fifth rate. Yeah. Let's just go, just go grab it, because we do need to start building up our trade fleets. Straight at him. So this fifth rate was blockading our entire trade network, or well, a port's entire trade trade infrastructure. The who could who defy people to say they don't like Empire Total War. Sure, it's got bugs, sure, it's got problems, but beautiful. I think I've always come down come down on the position that uh, while Napoleon might be objectively the better series and maybe a bit more polished and so on, 
The scale of empire is just something that Napoleon doesn't have. The world feels small in Napoleon. Right. Steamboat in. Take out this fella. Open up our ports and then we're in the money, money, money. Okay, right, everybody. Oh, what the hell? We can try to take out a mast. your guns. You can try. Let's slow down because we want to increase the time it takes for us to get there. Mast, but not enough. Excellent. Put the hammer down. You cut across them here. Everybody just keep engaging a round shot now for the most part. Side, so you should be good soon. You need to start firing chain because they're starting to waver. you with a chain shot make sure I got one sh make sure I get my ship sailing with the wind and I'll try to see if I can knock out a mast I'm just I just gonna really like doing it they're not going anywhere fast either way we can just board the ship She's booking it. Come on, let's 
just get something. Either way, we got in the way. Let's slow it down. Retaliation is going to successfully board her. Because Delaware is going to slow her down. She's going to sail straight in the... She's, she's trying to ram us! There we go. There goes our main. <laughs> oh, I unboarded her because all of her guns are reloaded. Fired a broadside and look at that. Nice. But there we go. So that's freed up our port. Bring you into our service. Yeah, we might even actually repair it, lose itself. So now we're up to 14,000. And a bunch of our exports aren't, still aren't getting through. Um, but 3,100. It's going to stay capital, just because I like finishing production chain, or finishing building chains. Cool. Um, so yeah, you're getting, you're, you've been beaten back to Fort Frontenac. Then it's up to Montreal. Cool. Let's hit M10. There goes the Mexican invasion force. They're going somewhere. Ooh. Military alliance. They, <laughs> they offer me 42 grand if I give them Virginia. So that, in general, that could be a really good alliance. But mm, counter offer. What about if we just ally? I don't want to give you territory, and I don't want to give you. I don't care for your money either. I mean, it's a really good amount of money. It's a good offer, but I don't want it. I don't want to give up Virginia, a territory right in the middle of my my empire. I don't think so. The United States will not negotiate to give up a state to a foreign power. Right. What? The rest of the world seems pretty content. Except, well, I like the fact that Norway and uh, Punjab still exist. Okay, so this, yeah, it's you. Good. But we do want to start building some heavies. So you can push up towards Montreal. That frees up this sixth rate. Eleven thousand. Right, let's get Try to get a bunch of state capital buildings done so that they are just. They're gone. Done. Don't have to worry about them. As far as government is concerned, everything is being ran perfectly. One and a half thousand. It's probably going to be a couple of farm upgrades. But yeah, you're still replenishing on the way up to Montreal. Okay, I think I may have to deploy my main army towards the northern bank. Oh, no, oh that's it. They found that they know there's a way across now, so they're trying to get across. Right, that makes sense. They know they can go somewhere now. <laughs> I don't know they just flat out buying Virginia for 63 grand. Not bad, but no. I mean, if I was being a scoundrel, you'd take the money and immediately declare war on them and then take it back. Which you could do, maybe, maybe. Yeah, you still might get negative diplomatic penalties. If you, if I was being a, a, yeah, being a scoundrel, Genoa wants peace. Yes. Counter offer. I want two grand. 
Oh, okay, so if we... <laughs> we want peace. Okay, give me two grand? No, but I'll tell you what we will do. We'll give you 33 grand for territory and an alliance. Mm, no. What if we did that? Nope. Would have made an alliance, Genoa, for the North... <laughs> For the Northern Italian American Alliance. But I suppose not. Right. Yeah, it's because this army's. It's because I've moved that sick throat out. They went, ooh, we can go there. No, let's put you back. So you're moving in to deploy, which means... Oh, well, Ernest Southerns, our Field Marshal of America. Let's... Maybe fill your army out some. Because you may be called upon. Okay, let's get some industry upgrades. Or well, a mixture of industry upgrades and road upgrades. Well, maybe not this road upgrade because we can march on Montreal. Take ready for battle. Maintain it for now. I want to keep see you're doing. I mean, ultimately, you're not trying to attack the Huron yet. You're just going to try and maintain a front against them because I don't know if they've got a raiding party no, around here somewhere. What are you? Okay, so you guys don't have to garrison here anymore. You may go here for the time being just to hold off these chaps. Yeah, once these guys are in the mix, they're going to get cleaned up. Okay, right, let's take Montreal. Take it from Guy. Guy or Guy Thisbro. That rings a bell. But yes, we'll take Montreal, push on to Quebec, secure the northern front or, or the northern side of the river. Then we can clear out the southern side and then invade Newfoundland, then turn towards the Huron. That would be my preference, I believe. Ooh, city fight. Howitzers need to just clear out town as best they can. Maybe on this side. Foot artillery open up on the flank. Form our infantry line. Keep my militia out wide. Get my continental marines near the town. In which case, it's probably moved my howitzers nearer safety. Skirmishes on the flank. Native warriors on the flank. Cavalry on the flank. Force artillery also move up on the flank. Right, you fellows are going to be busy. Force artillery. Oh, well, my artillery's under fire. We're providing good fire back at them. They're focusing on my marines. But we're going to assault their line. Put artillery. Focus on that unit of cuirassier. Heavy 
cavalry. I think they're so smart. I hear a cavalry charge. Oh, it's the general. This isn't Guy, this is someone else. Guy is only a captain. Alright, the 7th Regiment of Foot are in position. <laughs> that took most of them out. Seven Frenchmen whiffed completely. Form square. Defend yourself against the cuirassier. Still jigging. Hold the square firm, lads. Dangerous. You my general against a bunch of French crossies. Yeah, there's only twelve of them, but they're they're like a sniper unit. They'll clear out a general. There we go. I was taking a bit of a gamble by not sending my sending any infantry to help. Everybody push. This light infantry will draw in their cavalry. Or their heavy cavalry, and that's part of the reason why we've got them there. Put my horse artillery up on that small hill. Form up and start engaging their gun line. Howitzers start dropping shots in against their infantry positions. militia that's on the flank and I know you guys are tired bring my general around the stakes two men waiting just for the last foes to climb over then you get a Make ready. One more guy to help the, help the uh, defences. <laughs> this isn't what we really what we wanted. The provincial cav plus heavy cav. Our cavalry force is going to be in dire straits. Artillery retarget. We're doing devastating damage to their infantry force. mercenary force obviously red-blooded real Americans would never fight for a empire like this you know we are doing okay I suppose all that experience our cavalry is not that bad my provincial cavalry ever so slightly better than my colonial light cavalry Okay, let's 
maintain the pressure. natives are now starting to work their way through so now it says they're winning this probably might be because my natives are in there but let's take my cavalry out of there push through Still starting to, uh, they're still uh, attempting to engage. Horse artillery, just keep plinking away at the 21st. Everyone's forming up, we're in quite a good position. Just let everyone my guys shoot at whoever they like. Don't fire yet. Although, to be fair, I saw them off. Okay, even form out below the light infantry. One last unit to engage. 24th Regiment of Foot. The howitzers are in range. Maintain fire. And this unit of Marines, the 9th Regiment of Foot, have done a spectacular job to get this experienced. Accuracy 60. They're better shooters than my colonial line. They reload a lot faster. Carry more ammunition. Just so good. Line infantry, infantry. Excellent shot right in the middle of their formation. Everybody just engaging the routing enemy. Not that it is needed. Montreal is secured. Excellent. Let's demolish the, this military building. You guys can replenish. Build some better roads. We've got a happiness building, which is okay, because we're going to get another two buildings with industry. We're not going to upgrade it, but we are going to repair the farm and the trapper post so that we can try and get a bit more um, population growth. Speaking of, actually, where is my priest? So you're you're both converted to Protestantism. Push you up to Niagara. Two turns, and you'll get all the population there. I'm back at Philadelphia. Let's get a unit of cuirassier. Let's not do anything else. One and a half thousand. What can we get for one and a half thousand? I believe it's probably just going to be farm upgrades, which isn't terrible in of itself. Cool. One more turn to light infantry, then they're going to change firing. That's fine. We don't have to worry about quick line yet because we are. We're against enemies that we can quite nicely um, dominate. Ooh, they wanted to, they, they thought about it. But yeah, we're, we're fighting against enemies that we can dominate without the need for quickline. We're not against overwhelming numbers or, or hordes of troops, so that's okay. Even against the Native American factions, um, our artillery and drill is good enough. That we don't need quick climb. You want an alliance. You're an enemy of the Huron. 
do we trade with the Ottomans? I mean, they're pushing up against Russia. I mean, I kind of want to. They are pushing up. Yes. <laughs> Let's ally with the Ottoman Empire. Because now we're at the point where we could potentially start to get involved in scuffles with other people around the world. Light infantry doctrine is done. You've gone straight on short and carbines, which I don't really care for, but you get us a bunch of really interesting units. So let's get that done. Presidential Palace. We can go straight to Independence Hall. Well, I think we're gonna. Yeah, the unhappiness from having a university is still there. So let's make sure we get a dragoon unit. Legion of the United States Light Infantry. Awesome. So you're... Okay, right. So what's going to happen is you're going to chase after that handful of guys. I just... My cavalry sw swarm against them. Forward! For crown and country! Plenish. So they've all... They're gathering to the north. Send a cavalry unit up towards Cayuga. Because I don't think militia can actually stop them. So all the Hessian line. Oh no, we still, we've still got room for Hessian line beer. Let's recruit some more. Blocked collection results. But all my ministers look really good. I don't think we need to change any of those. Free Sloper is doing a good job. Cool. Um, push northward. Fortunately, we haven't got any money to rebuild the government building in Montreal, so tax rate 9.6. Hit and turn. Yeah, they're on there. They're running. Running boys. I think they, they're, yeah, they're aware that they're in trouble, and they're just trying to stay, stay ahead of our uh, raiding troops, but well, our reinforcing troops, I should say, not raiding troops. We're not raiders. Fine, let's make peace. Let's make peace. Good old Ottoman Empire. And I'd like to think, if we support them enough, will they invade... Well, will, will, if they invade and clear out Russia, will... Will we end up having a cataclysmic Austria-Ottoman war in Europe? Free trade doctrine. Awesome. Okay, so my cavalry can't get to Niagara. But this unit of Hessian line. No, 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 now you're in the way. Push them up. I haven't really got anyone to head them off except this unit of dragoons. Swine to the slaughter. Send them up. You guys could engage. Ooh, got some got some more elite troops here. A lot of Royal Escusay Grenadiers, demi cannons though. Couple of farm upgrades. Yeah, Florida's exporting everything, so I can upgrade the sugar warehouse. Some of these industry buildings get expensive. Especially when I could upgrade Luz and get a commercial basin. Do you oh, I don't want no, no, I want you to carry on with platoon firing. Get us that army staff college. Don't worry. Oh no, I do want you to do carbines though. No. Oh. Dang Nabbit, Harrisburg, 
Get on to secular humanism, New Haven on with shortened carbines. Okay. Get new basic roads here. And Osbert, Osbert and McDowell. Let's engage Victor Lagrange. Make them scuttle off to the east. Ultimately, if we end up securing Maine sooner, we can invade Newfoundland and wipe out that threat um, earlier than we otherwise planned. I think we're, we're in within spitting distance of Quebec. Put artillery... Sit back here. Bring up the line. We will advance in short order. Militia, a couple of marine units. Cluster my skirmishes on the left. Give them a native bow unit in support. The heavier cavalry. Limba. Enemy reinforcements are coming in from the left. Push and see if we can secure some territorial gains. These guys are chiefly going to be focused on defending our left flank rather than pushing. Because we've got, because it's raining, obviously we've got sound issues. They're hitting our militia more than anything. Storm up to the top of the hill. Even our light infantry. Here comes the enemy general. They're going to be in range of my Hessian line and maybe not my rangers by the time they're in position, so you might just stop. No, okay, push up. The light horse, they can do what they like. The general's unit. I will engage, but I was hoping my light infantry would deal with them. You guys cease fire. Our artillery superiority is unmatched. You better kill them quick, General. Well, they're the only light cavalry. Try and whittle down this for some. Go after the grenadiers. They've not lost many grenadiers. from the battlefield. Yeah, you know what, 
let's try and actually kill some unit. Ooh, German bodyguards coming in. Yeah, that's fine, I'll take the chances. You guys kill the colonial. Get the cavalry. Okay, you guys, all of you, except for the general. Except for the cavalry, rather. Okay, good. Are they there to live? Push up. Except for the infantry, keep killing the Royalist Cassé. Kill the Grenadiers. And our left flank can advance, ignore what's going on over here. Second foot guards are going to be destroyed. Excellent. Not worried about demi cannons. Although you might want to chase after that Royal Escosse unit. This cav unit can try and chase down that Royal Escosse unit. Got artillery just keep engaging their cuirassier to the rear. She's forming up. Now it serves just blink at the 18th. Well, knockout. I mean, in theory, you should go for the demi cannons first, because they're the nearest the edge of the map. I'm not quite sure why you're adopting this long and wide position. The main battle is, is being fought, and ultimately, see, it's going to be a great victory for us. Kill the last of the kill the last of the gunners. You know, make sure you do get the Royal Escosse here. Keep going for the Royal Escosse, but ignoring the Curacier. Get involved back here in the main section. Excellent. Push my continental marines up. Threaten that infantry. Get my cavalry across. Get my general across. is to make himself a target or their captain. There we go, he's under fire. And right, we're going to continue. Got people we can kill. Well, you'll probably want to go after... Eh, if you're going after Coeur de Bois, you go after the mercenaries. These native auxiliarymen go after these skirmishes. Stop the artillery from firing completely. Thirteen left. Eleven. They've all been dealt with, it's all this unit. One guy left. He's just been hacked down. Nice. That was a good victory. It's done some damage to the enemy.
185 lost of ours, and we've killed 1,500 of theirs. Yeah, you better run. They can fully replenish our army without causing any problems. You could march towards Fort Neshrak, but you're just going to hold right now. We want to keep our the northeast secure. Let's upgrade a farm and then hit end turn. Oh yeah, chase down that last gun team. Proud and victorious. Got him. See, now they've swung inland. That's what I wanted to, wanted to uh, keep an eye out for. Oh, they're going to uh, attack our forces cutting off Quebec. With Chor. Hey, they didn't pursue us. They might go for our uh, trade port, which makes sense. Uh, yeah, they're going to do some raiding. It's going to be frustrating, but it's going to not cause a, a significant shift in our strategic position. Oh, the Dutch want to do some shenanigans, do they? I suppose they are one of our targets. Maybe once we take Newfoundland, we're going to send an army south to liberate the uh, Dutch territories. Wait, the Windward Islands? The Windward Islands are rebels. So, but they were French, so why are the French still alive? They must have rebelled, just naturally, I guess. Doesn't matter to us. Oh, meanwhile, now we're trading. Well, now we're trading in allies with the Ottomans. We get to see every move they make. And you start to see how much of a bottleneck Istanbul is. See, if you couldn't see this, the game would look like it's frozen because they're moving all of these small armies around all over the place. Right. But the world is sailing on as planned. See, like Russia, for example, right now. Okay, well, at least we, we, can, we can see ships moving, at least in that view. But yeah, for the most part, it's very easy to think the world's kind of slowed down to a halt. But actually, it does still live. We've seen to got an extra special version of the Venetian, an extra special view of the Venetian Navy's operations. Uh, but yeah, so there's raiding, that's to be expected. I'm going to chase them down with the Dragoon Union again, just to keep whittling them down. Disaster. Yeah, that's fine. So then when these guys come in... Virtue and valor oh, have they're... conquered. That's the murder. That's so annoying. For crown and country. Keep pursuing. Let's maybe recruit provincial kind of unit down here. And maybe one up in Michigan. So the actual damage they do is going to cost us less than five five hundred to repair. So it's not like it's a in itself is a huge deal. Bring you back down to the mainland. Quebec is open. I mean, yeah, that's going to be a slaughter. I mean, you're more than enough to defend yourself against these guys, but we are going to bring this army back anyway. Let's try and... Oh, you've got to stay where you are for now. Eight thousand. What have you sent? Four, three. That's something, at least. 
And so have you. You've sent a 4-3. Yes, that is something. Um, let's take you guys, this army. Which was I can only get to about here. You might have to smack Victor Lagrange. Which can Victory alter that. Is ours. Which will you guys to bring the Boston Garrison out to engage their first enemy. Um, but looking at the timer, I'm probably going to end it here. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the slaughter of more French-Canadian swine. Cheers, everyone.